teaching you that. Uh, for the markets, we're ending with about a 100-point gain. The Nifty at 21,450. Markets open flat, but in the first one hour, markets scaled close to about 100 points. And since then, after about 10.30, it's been a very, very steady session for our market. Sensex going home with a gain of about 200 points. Midcap shining, midcap index up 300 points. The advanced decline ratio has three stocks gaining for two in the red. In terms of the sectoral movers, it's banks uh, which have uh, performed quite well. So the banking index is up 300 points, a little bit of an outperformance, but it's the CPSC, the PSUs, which uh, have you know outshined everything else. The so CPSC index is up 2%. Metals have done well with a decline in the dollar index. Pharma has a gain of more than 1%. And autos, led by Hero Motor Corp too showing you an up move of nearly 1%. Adani Green, by the way, is now up 6%. And on the losing side, Bajaj Finance and FinServe are the top losers and enforcers after that contract cancellation. Yeah, is under pressure. yeah that was a bit of a dampener right from the morning. Uh, Infosys and some of the other large-cap IT names. But back to this uh, sizzling PSU rally, look at the way stocks have closed out. Masgao Dock, 8%. NLC India, 12.5%. Uh, look at uh, some of the other names as well. Actually, I mean, if I go beyond PSUs, look at some of the private sector names in defense and shipbuilders. Very good moves on a Bharat Dynamics, 7.5% up. Uh, Cochin Shipyard is up about 5, 5.5%. So big moves there. Couple of the chemical stocks did well. Alkyl Abeeds, 12%. Himadri Chemicals, 7%. So uh, interesting moves coming in over there. By the way, Bombay, Burma, 10.5% up on this stock. Uh, not a usual name, but today it was... Uh, up and about. There's a long list of PSUs, IOC, REC, NMDC, BEL, SJVN, a big, big list of uh, gainers. On the losing side, again, I'm only looking at uh, <coughs> caps right now, uh, Zomato, Manapuram Finance. Uh, these are some of the stocks that lost out with uh, uh, decent volume. Uh, so perhaps worth noting. And of course, RBL Bank, I guess that was the other big headline. This card issue between Bajaj Finance and RBL Bank. RBL has taken a knock of 4.5%. Bajaj Finance and FinServe, the two noticeable losers on the Nifty today. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, I think uh, <clears throat> it's a strong close, uh, 100 points, uh, you know, first trading day of the week. Uh, so four more days to go. Where can we be at by Friday? <laughs> first trading week, first trading day of the last trading week oh, of sorry. 2023. <laughs> you can, I'm sure you try more, you can complicate it a little bit more. <laughs> I'll try to think about it. First trading last day. Okay, fine. You talk about today, basically. <laughs> All, All right, right, there goes the bell. Yeah. And right on cue, we're going to wrap up on closing bell from the entire team. Thank you for watching. Don't go anywhere. Markets Forward comes up next. century of excellence.